Let's all go out for some frosty chocolate milkshakes. All right, let's get this show on the road. For all two of you that watch this show, you may recall that we already played this one back in August, but you see the developers added some new shit, so uh, I suppose we might as well just take a look at it, huh? Uh, we'll add some bots in there, because I ain't got no friends. This is the only way to get the definitive horde mode experience. Thankfully, id Software was conscious of the fact that people like me would play this game, so they put in some some bots to keep my lonely ass company. Yep. Where did he go? You saw him a second ago. See? Yeah. There he is. Damn, look at him go. He's, fa he's just fast as shit. As Keemstar once famously said, I'm fast as shit, honky. Didn't he say that? Something like that. Kinda hard to differentiate your guy from the enemies when he's just scooting around the map at high speeds. So the, the goal of Horde Mode is to just keep fighting wave after wave of enemies until eventually you get a key and then you just put the key in its respective place and uh, there you go, you win. It's as simple as that. So yeah, you don't need me to explain this to you. It's Quake, the favorite game of ducks. Quake, quake, yeah, <laughs> get it? Uh, this, this is a fucking stupid joke. I'm sorry that that's just horrible. Uh, look at those, look at those nasty flesh leapers. Hey, uh, it's nasty. So, even with our teammate gone, we seem to be holding our own somewhat decently. Now, there's the key. Now, for the next couple of minutes, you're just going to watch me aimlessly stumble around trying to find the correct place to put this key. It's like that old Gmod video where the, the guy's being chased by, like, a, a monster of some kind, and then he, he uh, like, frantically tries to start his car, you know, with, like, the keys and everything. And then he tries to he tries to get into his house and he turns the key in his house and it, his house makes the sound of a car struggling to start up and that was the uh, the GMAD idiot box. Good series, give it a chance. Here's the cool electrical cannon, by the way. Magical wizardy powers. It says we need the silver key, but I could have swore that was what we picked up. I mean, you saw it. You can rewind the video. It said, you got the silver key. You got boost power. But for whatever reason, it, uh, it didn't go. How terribly unfortunate. So, I was, uh, looking at the news, just kind of on the side here, and uh, I saw the headline that, uh, that Bob Dole died uh, is rather unfortunate. I mean, he was a, a big fan of Quake after all. Uh, that's why I chose to, to bring it up on this Quake Let's Play. Uh, I, I suppose he was 98 though. That's, that's a good long life. Bob Dole is a friend of the tobacco industry. Bob Dole likes your style. Bob Dole. Bob Dole. <laughs> He was often uh, parodied in cartoons. Uh, he was a, a very easy man to parody. He would always uh, refer to himself in the third person and all that. An interesting figure, that's for sure. But let's get back to Quake here. So we got a new map. Uh, this one looks rather uh, Doom-esque, aesthetics-wise. What with the, the lava and the, the demons and the, the similar lighting. Definitely shares that aesthetic. So, you uh, may have noticed that this uh, grenade launcher that we're using uh, looks rather similar to the, the one the demo man uses in TF2. Or at least the grenades that come out of it look similar, you know red and glowing and tube shaped and all that and honestly I wouldn't be surprised if TF2 just basically copied that design outright I mean 
inspiration was uh, very heavy in the, the early days of uh, PC first-person shooters. One could say it was almost incestuous how much ideas were borrowed and then borrowed back again and again. I mean, you've seen that chart that I posted with uh, all the games that were inspired by Quake. Here, let me show it to you again. Uh, yes, indeed. The early days of computer FPSs were an interesting time, to be sure. And the memories of those days will help get us through the, the dark days that lie ahead. The world gets worse and worse every day, and someday it'll get to the point where we're all living on food stamps. But at least we have our memories of Quake and Doom and Duke Nukem and Wolfenstein and Hexen, if you were into that one. At least we've got our memories. I really like that meme that guy did about the boomer shooters where it's the scene from Beavis and Butthead where they've got a drill instructor teaching sex ed and the, the meme part of it is that they replaced most of the, the uh, nouns, let's say, with the, with the boomer shooter uh, sound effects. So he says like, we're gonna be talking about the huh! We're going to be talking about the, and then like a, a half-life beeping sound effect that a human can imitate. And, and we're definitely going to be spending a lot of time talking about the balls of steel. You know, because <clears throat> like Duke Nukem. Ah, uh, yes. Boomer shooters. I feel like I should try to make an effort to play all the different classic boomer shooters on this channel at some point. I mean, I've already made decent progress on that. I mean, we've done Doom, we've done Quake, and, uh... I guess those are the only two. But yeah, I think that's a decent goal to have. So did you guys notice that this game borrows a few uh, sound effects from uh, Hotel Mario on the, the Philips CDI? I caught that a minute ago, and let me just uh, play you an example. So yeah, the sound effect that that pipe made also appears in this game. If you rewind this video to uh, approximately 6 minutes and 9 seconds, you'll hear that same sound effect. Gosh, I, I cannot hear those types of sound effects anymore without thinking about YouTube poops. I, I was big into the, the pooping scene in, uh, in 2008 and... All of those quotes and sound effects are just permanently etched into a, a far corner of my brain. Night of the princess to invite us over to a picnic, gay Luigi. <laughs> uh, simpler times. So that round didn't last particularly long, did it? I guess that knight overheard me uh, uh, quoting YouTube poops and he had to run over and kill me and just put a stop to it immediately. Not a fan of the, the YTPs, evidently. I was the only kid in my class who knew about those types of videos. And it was very lonely. Uh, we can't, we can't get the health. We were, we were too slow. It's at a place where we cannot reach. As Skeeter said to Doug in that, that, uh, that Nostalgia Critic review, Why do you go to places where I can't follow you? <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of the Nostalgia Critic, but that was one of the, one of the few times where he actually said something that I thought was pretty funny. That was his review of the, the Doug movie. Doug? What? Well, I just fucking said it. Why was I going to say it again? Anyway, yeah. Good stuff. So, what else to say about old Quake for the last 30 seconds here? So, uh, Quake 4 didn't get added to the Microsoft Backwards Compatibility Program for some strange reason. I mean, Microsoft owns all of Bethesda these days. <sighs> you and your loud engines outside. I hate living on a busy road. 
But anyway, I can't imagine getting the rights to Quake 4 was too difficult. I mean, Microsoft owns all that stuff now. Just flexing their unlimited money to, you know, get a, a leg up in the gaming industry and buying up entire publishers. How could they not put Quake 4 on there? It doesn't make any gosh darn sense. So anyway, yeah, I just thought this would be a fun thing to return to Quake for a bit and look at this uh, new mode, and now we have, so uh, see ya.